Brakthia Hawa, Brakthia Washai, Brakthia Hawa, Brakthia Washai, Brakthia Hawa, Brakthia Hawa, Bashim Yawashai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honest to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there, man. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the pre Shaman, and this week's topic is going to be entitled Don't Trust Everything You See Slash Hear. And the inspiration for the show comes from I just finished watching Spider Man Far From Home. The movie's bad, shit's off the chain. I know I'm late, but hey, it just got on Showbox. And the main antagonist or the villain in there is a character by the name of Mysterio. All right, now, spoilers ahead. Mysterio was a regular dude. He didn't have powers, but he, what he did was he used holograms and all types of imagery to pretty much deceive the people into the fact that he had powers. And this is very similar to what we've been speaking about, Project Bluebeam. All right, so Esau is going to use holograph, holograms and drones. <laughs> they already could manipulate the weather, you know, to, tr to trick people and and into giving them their securities, their trust, and all this type of stuff, man. And that that movie, man, it had a lot in there, man. It had, you know, if you look closely on the thing holding his mantle, it looks like an eye. It looks like an eye. And in the movie, his costume was designed different, but it was pretty much the so-called all-seeing eye of the Illuminati, and it winked, and the cameras are zoomed in. So, you know, this this movie is heavy, man. I mean, some of the technology that was in there, people might think, oh, this is far-fetched, but you got to remember, the first smartphone, or the concept of it, was in that movie 007. You know, he was a spy, and he had all the religious gadgets, he had a smartphone. And what are we using today? We're using smartphones, but at the time, it seemed like some far-fetched out there science shit. So the fact that Esau has holograms that could mimic people, mimic events, mimic anything, it could deceive the heart of the simple. Yet, if you have the spirit and power to discern, then, you know, you shall not be deceived. Those are the characteristics of the elect. Without further ado, let me go into some scriptures. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Let Satan, Satan means adversary, the primary adversary to this thing is a so-called white man, should get an advantage, a advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And in the movie, pretty much if you watch the post credit, this guy Mysterio, he died, but he framed it, you know, to make it look like Spider-Man, you know, went rogue and shit. And of course, the masses believed it. And they could do the same thing with us, man. They could, they're going to be framing brothers, man. I could see them doing that, you know, chopping up your words as Mysterio did. Hey, they could have, you know, lock brothers up. Look, man, this guy is telling on you. And they saw us playing a record, and you think it's a brother speaking, but really what they did was they spliced words. And they actually, do that, they actually did that to mafia guys, man, to lock them up. They spliced their words together to um, indict them with crime. So these are some of the things that, this is how Esau gets down, man. You know, that's how come the spirit got it to where the apostle Tahar said, look, fuck all that super brotherly shit. I mean, not not in the sense of not be brotherly, but, you know, you know, we get getting in a more business type mindset, like, you know, you know, like not too familiar with one another, man, you know, which is very, very smart because, you know, I'm guilty of this, man. You know, sometimes you see an, a, a new brother, you get super excited, you know, before you even examine, you know, and judge the situation, but now we're learning, like, look, man, now we got to check everybody out. You know what I'm saying? You got to check yourself out first and foremost, examine thyself. But we got to walk circumspect amongst each other, you know? Again, this is not saying don't be brotherly. But, in, you know, in these times, man, all types of shit is going to happen, man. So just be on guard, be on watch, and don't just believe everything you hear or say, man. You know, they could frame any of us, you know, try to set us up to testify against each other. And I'm going to say, like my man Sonny Francis said, man, concerning that whole snitching shit because the IUIC will tell you to have you snitch and I don't turn on your brother and all that. Look, Sonny Francis, the oldest living mobster, you know, he got 50 years unjustly. He, in one of the courts, he said, look, watch, I'm going to do the whole 50. And all the motherfuckers that locked him up done passed away, but the guy's still living at 102. But anyways, one of his quotes was, um, he said, look, he said Jesus suffered, but he ain't squeal on nobody. You know, so if they put you in that particular situation, don't sell your brother out, man. You know, I pray the most I never put that spirit on me or none of us, man. But, you know, this devil, as time approaches, man, and, you know, tribulation and hell come upon people and the chip and all that. Trust and believe, man. He's going to bring out every fucking thing, man. Everything, nonstop illusions, tape recordings, you know, hologram, all, everything, man. Everything to deceive. He got he got a shit ton in his trick bag, man. You know? 
And they show you in these movies, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 15, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man look well to his going. Yeah, so, hey, man, in the words, another thing Apostle Lataha said, man, look, he said, look, after 20 years, then you could kind of trust the guy. So, damn, I was like, wow, 20 years, wow. But I meditate on it like, that's true, man. After, you know, it's going to take a long time to see what a man truly is about. Technically speaking, man, you know, I'm just going to come straight. Untold chariots, we don't know who's who. You know what I'm saying? When we're in the chariots, that one is, that's when there's absolutely no doubt in your mind, okay, this man next to me is a brother, you know? But until then, man, we just got to be circumspect of every fucking thing, man. You know, agents in camps, um, Esau, of course, well, we know Esau listening in. You got videos and all, all of us, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, any, any, anything this devil could throw at us, man. So we just, you know, as the scripture says, you just, you just can't, you know, you can't just believe everything you hear. And they show you that in that movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, because they broadcast it all on the media and it showed how easily they could frame people, set up catastrophes, you know, have you think the hero's a villain when the villain's a, um, a villain, you know? Esau could play all types of tricks, man. It says, but the prudent man looked well to his going. So ultimately, the filtration is going to be trying the spirit, of course, and the scriptures. All right. If a motherfucker's coming out working miracles and walking on water and doing all types of bullshit, not bullshit, so like you're doing all types of miracles, but teaching bullshit, then you got to say, hold on, wait a minute now. I got to see, I got to see things for myself. You know what I'm saying? Because don't put it past this devil. To fake the second coming of the Lord. Talking about fake chariots, the works. Holograms, the works. But if the trip ain't fully implemented, then you got to say, wait a minute. Whoa, the scriptures don't say he's going to come back like that. Or if a so-called white man come out there. Or so-called green aliens come out there. You got to say, wait a minute. That's not scriptural. So that's going to be the tool. The Bible the Bible and these prophecies are going to be the tool to make a see through the bullshit of Esau. You know what I'm saying? 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High. So in that, in that day when Esau started doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Working all types of miracles, working all types of BS. You know, trying to infiltrate brothers and, you know, next thing you know, you, they got a video of you doing some shit you never did. They got your voice, but you're like, wait a minute, I never said that. Look, man, you just gotta try the spirits, man. You gotta, you just really gotta try the spirits. What <laughs> says, um, but try the spirits whether they are the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world, and that is true, man. All right, so there's been false prophets. Hey, just like how the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets, the spirit of the false prophets is subject to the false prophet. If, if a false prophet is always gonna be around, the most high got them. I'm pretty much gathering the flock that he doesn't desire, the flock that he doesn't want. So they're playing a role in this thing. You can't just have all prophets all with the truth. That's not how it's never been that way. You know, there's always been wicked niggas and there's always been, and always been a few good men, few good righteous men. And that's what we part, we're trying to be a part of. Because man by nature is deceitful, you know, and lying. The scripture says every man is a liar, you know, meaning um, that's 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 going into. That's going to, you know, saying that you're going to do something and it's going to guarantee come to pass. There's no guarantee what you say shall come to pass. Only the words of the Lord shall come to pass. You know, I could say, look, man, I'm going to take a, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm going to go take a piss and I might take 10 or 15. I might take one, you know? So every man, you know, you don't, you can't predict the future. Only the most high words is set in stone. So ultimately every man at the end of the day, you know, can't bring things back to pass as the most high can. All right. First Thessalonians 5 21. It says, Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. And that's if Peter Parker had the scriptures, well, the movie would have been over real fast, you know, because that's you know, when you watch it, Mysterio was losing a lot of deception, a lot of he even said it. He was like, Yo, you, you believe any fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Because he's like, You're gullible, and that's what you don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to believe every single man just throws at you. You gotta wait, wait a minute, prove that, you know, you said that, now prove it, you know. You got to be able to prove things in the scriptures. I'm talking, of course, in the scriptures, you know, you got to back up whatever you say with precepts. All right. But I'm talking about, you know, practical um, life situations. You know, a, a man could run up and tell you, you know, when all hell breaks loose, my daughter, my daughter, they got my daughter. Please, please help me. And then you go help them. Next thing you know, you getting skewered on the barbecue, man. 
All right. My daughter, my daughter. Well, listen, I didn't see your daughter get kidnapped, bro. So I, I don't, you know. I got to see shit for myself. First of all, I don't even know your daughter. You know what I'm saying? So in that day, you know, even now, be skeptical of those around you, you know. And really only retain, I wouldn't say um, trust. Because, you know, one thing I peeped about the scriptures. The scripture says, you know, trust in the most high. You know, the scriptures don't say trust in men. You know, the scripture says trust in the most high. So, you know, you put your faith and your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right. And then you be brotherly with the men that are doing the same thing you're doing. But in terms of, you know, full blown trust, hey, man, look, man, we all got to be skeptical of each other, man. I'm just going to come real. I'm not trying to cause any um, division, but I'm just saying we got to be circumspect of each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's only, it only makes sense, man. You know, it's only, it only makes sense we, we be this way until we're on the chariots. You know, that way nothing can surprise you, you know? I've been watching a lot of mob shit, and I was thinking about that, man. I was like, damn, you know, these niggas got infiltrated, whatever. And they got hurt because they built up a great bond with a certain dude. But if you kind of if you kind of was always in your mind, like, you know, always was circumspect about those around you, then it wouldn't surprise you. You know, you'd always be on guard. And that's how come I see the spirit, you know, as the scripture says, um, force not the course of the river. I see the spirit flowing in that direction. I see the apostles putting together lessons like this. No, it makes sense. You know, the constant be circumspect of one another, man. All right. Until our brothers are we get delivered. You know, because how many guys and said double honest are the apostles and this, that, and third, and the next minute they're doing a show saying they're going to throw the apostles in a trash can. And that's real shit. You know, but guess what? The apostles never get surprised because they circumspect of us, man. They, you know, they, you know, going to have some type of, you know, skeptical of every man until, you know, you prove them after a while. You know? But, you know, I was just speaking on one aspect, so I'm also speaking on the aspect of Esau and the the um as the the Mysterio. You know, when you watch him, you know, he pretty much fucked with Peter Parker's head, man. He was fucking with the whole world by using illusions and practical effects. Well, the way I see it is Esau already got weather manipulation with the hard program. You know, he already got Project Bluebeam, you know. And of course, he has the media, you know, he has the media and he has, a, they could fake news, they could splice together things on the news and that, that TV box is nothing but a trance, man. You know what I'm saying? To stir up mass hysteria, to, to look, man, the so-called white man with the staging of 9-11 got millions of millions of people to go over there in the fucking Middle East to fight a war that they didn't even want to fight. But he stored up their fear. He created an enemy out of nowhere. You know, so this man is very subtle. He's a very deceptive person. So-called white man. You can't believe shit. He's you can't believe as the scripture says, man, he got a word smoother than butter. And we see what happened when our nations trust this guy, man, the Native Americans, so-called Native Americans, the tribe of Gad, how people what happen when you trust this man, you end up get, getting bit because what? He's a serpent. And a snake is going to always bite you. You know, I'm talking about a wicked snake, not a righteous serpent, you know. Because Yahweh Shai is likened unto a serpent. And the missiles, the holy missiles are likened unto serpents. So I'm talking about a wicked serpent. Esau, Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things that I've said unto you, be circumspect. And make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So in all things, be circumspect, man. All right. Um, that's The Hebrew word there is Shema. Actually, there's a priest in the camp named Shema. Pretty much means to watch, to observe, you know. I mean, uh, that's what the word Samaria comes from. Um, I believe like watch, watching hill or something like that. But to keep guard, all right. So always have your guard up, all right. I'm not saying shit, man. I'm gonna give everybody in the camp an evil eye and shouldn't look at them sideways and shit like that, you know. But I'm just doing what the scripture says. I'm being circumspect, man. All right. And to say, hey, the scriptures tell you be circumspect of yourself, examine yourself, how much more so the body that you win, you know? So it says, in all things that I've said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods. Hey, we just did a lesson talking about how everything carries a vibration, a name carries a vibration. So this fuck nigga talking about yo play, comparing yo play with the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, I'm talking about the Lima out there in IUIC. Look, man, the most I ain't forget that, and you're going to die for that. Unless you repent, man. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So the most I was like, 
You know, man, imagine dealing with a woman, man, and she's just calling you whatever the fuck she want to call you by name. Wouldn't that fuck with you? Hey, I don't know. Here it is. Your name is, uh, you know, John. And you smash her and she's calling you Peter and she's calling you Bill or whatever. You know, you, what the fuck you do? You know what I'm saying? It was very disrespectful. So that's the that's the mindset the most I got, man. You can't just be calling out any other names of guys and saying that's your power when I'm your power. You know, it's very, very disrespectful. And for Israelites to teach that, well, it shows you that there's a lot of the false prophets. So, as the scripture says, being circumspect now, I'm going to go through the scripture and see if some guys teaching that bullshit. I'm going to say, wait a minute, I got to avoid that dude. You know, he's talking about the name don't matter. Fuck him. I'm going to get away from that guy. He's, you know, he's giving up a, 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 a blemish sacrifice to the Lord by saying some shit like that. You know, and I, the sacrifices that we got to give to the Lord got to be unblemished. So, the things that we say, it can't be perverted. This is Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Again, man, learn the experience, man. I've I've been I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. I've been one to been too uh friendly and not circumspect, you know what I'm saying? And I learned from that, you know. So I'm sharing what the scriptures say on that. And this and using the movie as an inspiration, man. If you brothers haven't seen it, check it out. All right. And as technology moves forward and things become more readily available, trust and believe, Esau, you know, again, the shit that they show us is 50 years old. For example, the first patented VR technology, you know, the VR technology was patented in the 50s. So they had VRs and CD-ROMs in the 50s, man. And right now, you know, cell phones, they had all types of shit, man. So you can only imagine some of the things that the so-called white man got ready to issue out, man. And even when you watch these movies, everything is green screen. You think it's real, but it's not. Computer generated, man. So all he got to do now is just put it in four dimensions, all right, via these holograms. And these holograms are getting more and more realistic, just like how they show you in Star Wars, or better yet, just like how they show you in the movie Far From Home, man. You know? The, the visual effects look so real, and they use drones to give the effect that it was real. Man, this shit just fucked Spider-Man up. If he didn't have his spider sense, he'd have been fucked up. You know, but our spider sense is going to be these scriptures. To make us uh, see and, you know, all the bullshit that Esau is going to throw at us. All right. And, um, you know, whatever, um, you know, infiltration and all that. Look, I got one thing to say about this, man. This whole, you know, spying on us and shit like that. You know, Esau, I know you're listening. Um, Brothers don't do anything illegal. Brothers don't do anything incriminating. All we do is go out there and teach the words of the Heavenly Father. You know what I'm saying? In our day-to-day -day lives, we live regular lives, man. We don't live no...